video, I'm going to discuss the reaction of magnesium with hydrochloric acid. Now this reaction involves gas, and so we're going to need to perform it inside a closed system. So I've pulled down an Erlenmeyer flask, and I can double click on this to close the system. Inside of here, I'm going to place 0.1 grams of magnesium, as well as eventually 6 molar hydrochloric acid. But before I do that, because the reaction involves gas, and that gas needs volume to expand into in order to avoid increasing the pressure to dangerous levels, I'm going to put a syringe in the top of the Erlenmeyer flask and add a thermometer as well just to monitor the temperature. I'm going to put the whole setup on the balance so that we can eventually remove the syringe and watch the mass that's lost due, due to the escaping gas. Finally, to get the reaction started, I need to add 6 molar hydrochloric acid, and I'm going to add about 10 milliliters of that to the flask, and then we'll zoom in and watch what's happening. So we can see immediately that bubbles are forming within the reaction solution, and some gas has been evolved because we can note the increase in volume to the overall system. The temperature went up slightly, but has already returned back to roughly room temperature, and note that the mass is still the same because the system was completely closed. If we remove the syringe and we open the system, the gas can escape, and we can attribute that lost mass to the gas that was evolved during the reaction. To explore what the products of this reaction might be, I looked up the dissolution of magnesium and hydrochloric acid and turned up this paper from the 1950s, which claims that when magnesium is immersed in aqueous solutions of hydrochloric acid, hydrogen is evolved. This is consistent with what we observed, namely the loss of gas from the top of the reaction mixture. The atoms remaining, if we account for the hydrogen lost, are Mg and Cl, and those can be combined to form the ionic salt MgCl2, which in this case remains an aqueous solution. So the balanced equation includes one mole of magnesium solid, two moles of hydrochloric acid to form one mole of H2 gas, and one mole of aqueous or dissolved MgCl2. In our case, the hydrogen gas escaped and the aqueous magnesium chloride solution is sitting in the bottom of the reaction flask and you can see that right here.